give them the sauce. I was like, ooh, I was like, no. <laughs> People being so like monotone, because I already was looking at this latte like, eh, I don't know, you know? To me, it just came off as being petty. Honestly, I'm trying to stay focused. You must think I got to be joking. I don't think I can't wait. I just need it. Good morning, good morning, everybody. Well, not good morning, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another day of vlogging. Uh, this is your girl Kendra. If you are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, don't forget to like, comment at the end of the video or during the video, whichever one is for you okay so right now I am um, of course I got a late start today um, I was cooking earlier and doing all the extra stuff so um, I am gonna go to a coffee shop that I have never been to um, this one is called uh, it's called the land of a thousand hills coffee never been there um, I drove past it yesterday and then I googled it and it was like this is what it was so I was like alright cool so, um, I do have to stop at, I want to say Ulta or Sephora. I have to stop at one of the two. I'm not really sure which one I'm stopping at, but I got to stop at one or the other. I want to see if I can get my nails redone. I'm not really sure how my agenda is going today, but what I do know is we're going to get some things done. So, I will see you guys once we get to the coffee shop. Hey, everybody. So, your girl's back. So, oh, oh, oh let me tell y'all. So, I didn't change my mind. I was gonna go to Thousand Hills Coffee, but um, I forgot I had screenshot a coffee shop like two days ago that I really, really, really wanted to try, and I almost forgot when I was um on the phone and somebody I was talking to was like, "Didn't you say you want to try?" So yeah, it's called Finca to Filter O Four W. That is off of uh, that is I want to say this would be considered Midtown like borderline downtown midtown area they have a 4.9 um score they close at five and it's basically right down the street from um old fourth ward so yeah we're definitely going to um try that because there go thousand hills coffee right there but i remembered that this is right down the street so I'm gonna try this one and yeah old fourth word is where it's next to so we all know that's close to um, Sephora From what I saw it looks so pretty in there like that's what makes me really want to go because it has like such a cute vibe. So we're gonna go in there. Hopefully the parking is Simple because sometimes over here in old fourth Ward, like the parking sometimes is insane or sometimes they you can't park here you can park there you can't park there like oh so annoying you guys i need my hair done so bad i know most of y'all probably looking at it like no your hair look cute like it's still done I, I. i'm gonna get i'm gonna tell y'all why it don't look crazy because one thing about ponytails a week and a half in your hair will start to flake up now the only reason you guys don't see too much flake up is because one i brushed it all the way back right here so most of it's sitting right here at the top okay it's sitting right at the top right here so you can't really see unless you're looking down on my head and ooh, ooh, y'all oh this look cute oh it look cute so yeah so y'all can't see it just because of that and because um i sprayed a little bit of um hair dye on top of the flakes <laughs> You know the little things where you can spray with the girls be spraying on y'all lace to make sure it look like a straight, straight line? Yeah. Your girl sprayed a lot of that. No, not a lot, but just a little bit on my, um, the flake part. Just so I don't, um, just so the flakes won't show. That's a little secret for people who, um, do ponytails and you just need, you just need something to match your hair color. That's always tell people to dye your hair before you get your hair done just in case you gotta do stuff like this and spray it real quick. You won't really do much. Guys, I cannot wait. Oh my God. I cannot wait for you guys to see this. It looks so pretty on the outside. Now, if you're a, a girl, a pink girly, oh, you're gonna love this because it's insane. Nah, I'm not a pink girly, but it still looks cute. It looks like a little girly girly spot. So, come on, y'all. <laughs> Let's go. Y'all coming? Or what? Because it seemed like y'all ain't trying to come. Like, I'm going to need y'all to let's go. Like, are y'all coming? All right, I'm just going to leave without y'all because <laughs> y'all taking too damn long. Okay. Y'all taking way too long.
so what are we thinking like what what are we thinking about the vibe of the place like you know what is it giving like is it giving something where we're all like together on one thing and we're like yes that's it or are we saying no that's not it like what are, what are we what are we thinking okay y'all so let me tell y'all so customer service fire but i don't know if it's because it seems natural though let me not say that i was like maybe because they saw the camera but no i think it was very genuine and very um I think the customer service was just very genuine. Like I didn't, I didn't feel like it was put on or anything. Like I didn't feel like it was put on. It, like it, it came off very, very natural. Like you know, every question that I asked, they were able to answer extremely quickly. So you know, and they definitely know their coffee. I will say that because I was asking certain types of questions, and they were able to answer every question that I asked. So you know, that's a good thing for me. I love when you're able to ask a question and the people know the answers, or at least they go check it out. I love that. So if you are close to Pont City Market, it's literally across the street from it. It's just around the corner. So when you go, you're gonna kind of be like, hmm, where is this place at? But that's exactly where it is. So just. FYI. Now let me let me break the coffee part down. Ugh. I don't know. It's just like it's strong. Like that part I like. It is a very strong coffee. But it has this. And I want to say a lot of people are doing this. Like a lot of coffee spots are doing this. They're doing that whole um lavender sea salt and sage and all these different types of things in the coffee where I'm kind of like uh, it's a little too funky for me um this coffee is giving very much uh what's the word it's giving very much perk coffee where it's it's a little weird but it can you know if you're into funky coffee and adding new things and trying new things to your coffee then this place will work for you but with me mm, no it's just it's it's not like the inside of it is a vibe the plate the the way the customer service is perfect it's just this is not my type of vibe. I'm just a regular coffee drinker. Like I don't like to add or change or anything else to it. This is something where it's a each to each his own um, coffee shop, but it's it's funky. Okay, it's I will say that it's very funky. Like adding all these extra things to the coffee is just like wow. Like, but like I said, it's it's really strong. I love the fact that it's strong. But no. Damn, I left my coffee at, I mean, I left my water at the house. But, um, no. Not for me. I'm gonna have to go get me another thing of coffee or something because that's not it. Okay. Let me go over here because I'm gonna go to the Thousands Coffee because that was not for me. Yeah. But, um, anyway, we're gonna go to Thousand, Thousand Hills Coffee because, because <laughs> I need some sort of coffee and that's not giving. Okay. So, and I cannot drive around and have no coffee. That shit almost cost me $10, and that shit is nasty. <laughs> or at least it's nasty for me. I like that it's strong. Like I said, I love that it's strong. But it's fucking nasty. <laughs> so, yeah. We're gonna um, run to Thousand Coffee, get us a, a real coffee, hopefully, and then we'll be back, okay? Hey y'all, so your girl is back, okay? Different coffee, a thousand times better. Like, oh, whew, that is just not for me. The other place is not for me, but it's definitely, if you like having like floral type of things in your coffee, like floral type of drinks in your coffee, then that is a place for you, okay? But I don't. I like my things very simple, plain, like not giving too much, you know? So, yeah, that place is not for me. But anyway, so your girl done got her, uh, um, it's called, damn. Okay, so it's, it's a v caramel and vanilla latte, but they call it caramel, 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 no, it's not even caramel, it's like caramel, 
Like, it's like a mix between caramel and vanilla as the name, but I can't pronunciate it right. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, so I'm not even gonna try. But, um, damn, this thing is, uh, uh, the other coffee, I had to throw that in the trash. Like, I couldn't even try to suffer through that. Like, no. Now, this place that I went to, the Thousand, Thousand Hills or Thousand whatever, that one, it, um, it's given upper class, it's given corporate, it's given, you can sit there and still do the Starbucks thing where you can sit there and, um, you know, edit your videos and things like that. But it's definitely given professional. Like, you cannot go in there and act a fool and be carrying on laughing and giggling and all that stuff. Like, that is not that, okay? This is a very bougie place, okay? Because what, what happened is, it's a part of a um, apartment complex. So, because of the way the apartment complex is set up, it has a lot of um, people that live there. And then, you know, the leasing office is there. So, you know, it's given settle down. Okay, don't 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 come in here acting crazy. So that's pretty much it for that. Um, right now we are headed to. I feel like I need to go to Target, but I might go to Ulta. I don't really know where I'm going yet because I have a few things I need to do. I just don't know which one I want to do first. So I'll be back on here in a minute. <laughs> Everybody, welcome to another day of a vlogging. This your girl Kendra. Do not forget to subscribe. I have to keep saying that to make sure y'all subscribe. Um, so as you guys see, I got my stuff right here. I had to um, get some stuff out of storage because um, I want to take it to the house or whatever. Not my new place, but remember I told you I was staying with somebody or whatever, whatever. So I have to take that out of there. But um, I had to come on here and really say something to y'all because I just seen some really funny things like so funny okay like let me tell you guys it is pouring out here let's start there it is pouring it is pouring okay real bad so let me tell y'all something I was talking to this dude right keyword talking all right let me tell y'all something this I did something to the nigga, right? And he thought getting revenge was, and it's just kind of like, to me, it just came off as being petty, okay? So I feel like you try to do your big one, but your big one just didn't hit as much. Like, it, like yo, y'all, you know how somebody, like you, like, you know when you're a petty person, and then somebody tries to be petty and then you are like the queen of petty or the king of petty and then they try to do this like little petty shit and you just be sitting here like dude or girl like your petty is nowhere near my petty like <laughs> like that should be so hilarious and then why i laugh even harder is because what i did or, or like whatever to me is not even close to like, like I really wish I could really tell y'all <laughs> some real live shit but it's like you know how you can't tell on yourself <laughs> you can't snitch on yourself because your level of petty is like on a thousand like like your petty is on a thousand you feel me like on a thousand and their petty is just not even fucking close <laughs> like they petty is not even close like yo y'all just don't even know that shit to me is so fucking hilarious like man I really wish I could All I can do is laugh, and this is all women. You know when you're not in love with somebody, like no more, like you're not in love with them. Like, you know how everything they do piss you off? And it's like, 
you don't really give a no more, but it's like the person wants you but you really don't because you done already, you done already like kind of played your role already. It's kind of like you don't even really need their ass no more. Like, that's what it gives. And it's like, you could have did your big one with something else. <laughs> but your big one is like this. <laughs> hey, y'all. So your girl went again to Costa Coffee because this oatmeal butter cookie, whatever, is fire, okay? So I had to go back, right? But I wanna come on here and say something. Like, when you're dealing with a man, right, and you guys both have a dream to do something, and like how you guys see me doing YouTube, you see like I'm really been putting in the work, doing what I need to do, right? And you deal with a dude who wants to do the same thing, not YouTube, but they wanna do things in the same type of field in a way. And they don't put the same amount of time, effort, and money into something that they want to come true is just a red flag for me. And I was dealing with a dude who wants to do the same type of thing, but from the time I met this person, this is something they wanted to do. Now when I first met them, it was something I wanted to do too, but I was kind of doing it, but not kind of doing it, but kind of on and off with it, you know, that type of thing. And, you know, this person, I never used to see put money into their business, like ever. Like, I have been doing this YouTube thing consistently for like a year and some change, right? Now, I really put money into my stuff. Like, if I know I need something, I get it. If I know that I need to get this, this, and that, I'm gonna do it. If I need somebody to take my picture for me, I do it. If I need, like, you know, I do what I need to do for my business, right? But it's like, I'm dealing with somebody who, who gets a lot of fucking money, okay? A lot, but doesn't put any type of money into their own business, right? And it's like, this person could be actually way further than me, but because I put in the work and they don't, it just never happens and because this specific person likes to like finesse a lot of shit it's like they don't it's like the shit is never gonna work in your favor because you don't even put in the damn work for it to fucking happen and they complain about this shit so much it's like you ever listen to somebody who complains so freaking much but it's like the Lord keeps giving this person so much shit. Like they just give it to them, give it to them, give it to them, give it to them, give it to them. I like just give it to them constantly. And it's like they don't do nothing with it. And you be sitting here like, damn Lord, like I put in a lot of work. Like I put in a lot of money into my business. Like I, I put a lot of everything into like, I made this shit my damn life. Just so this shit could come true. And you see a motherfucker who get everything, do every fucking thing and they don't even put the work in and they complain on why they shit ain't, why their business is not picking up or why it's not doing something. You need to really look at that as a red flag because I have noticed that being around this person the last, like, the last six months, I've really sat down and really paid attention to this person. And I'm just like, wow. Like, wow. You're just, you're just somebody who wants to run, doesn't want to walk, doesn't want to crawl, doesn't want to do nothing. You just want the shit to just happen to you. And then, I think you end up becoming a hater. Because, now I'm not gonna lie to you guys, like with this editing thing, editing is something that I have picked up very quickly because when I was in high school, Because when I was in high school, right, I um, I had took a video production class, loved it. But by the time I took that class, it was already time for me to graduate. So it was just like, damn, I didn't get to do another year of it and stuff like that. But I learned so much within that one year that I picked it up and learned it or whatever. And now 
at my age now, I'm able to, well, you know, now I can do it with my damn eyes closed. Like, you know, I could really learn some stuff real quick and pick it up and just be done with it. And it's kind of like being around this person, it's kind of like they wanted me to give them the sauce to it. And it was kind of like they didn't want to learn it themselves like you feel me like they did not want to learn it themselves they didn't want to you know figure it out it was kind of like they just wanted me to give them the tea and i'm just like you barely give me any tea but you want me to give you the whole shebang like you feel me the shit was just crazy Hey y'all, welcome to another day of vlogging. This is your girl Kendra. Don't forget to subscribe and like and comment below. So, um, <clears throat> as you guys just seen, I went to a place called Ye Beignets and Bistro, right? There's nothing wrong with the place. Let me, let me, let me start there. The beignets were a 10 out of 10. The coffee is coffeeing. Okay, it kind of looks like they don't really do syrups and all that stuff, so you're gonna kind of have your coffee strong like you just have to do the typical gas station type thing where you gotta kind of put cream of sugar you know so yeah if you're a real coffee drinker like you like your coffee damn near black just a little bit of cream of sugar perfect like you know you can always do it but you know whatever and <clears throat> the place is a really nice place the customer service is really good the the place is clean they have a 100 score on their health um, board. And the establishment kind of gives Louisiana. Like, there's a lot of Louisiana businesses that are in the same type of building. So, it's kind of like, if you've ever been to Atlantic Station, how you know how there's, oh, there's like, different businesses in one, like, shop or whatever, or like, in one building. That's kind of what that's given, but on a way lower standpoint, that's kind of what that's given. It's just, for it to be a Louisiana spot, it's very low key. Like, the customer service, like I said, is amazing. They're good, really nice people, but you can tell they're um, in introverts. Introverts? Yeah, I wanna say they're introverts. Like, they're very calm, very mellow. Like, they're gonna please you no matter what's going on. Like, they're gonna make sure that you're that you're straight. Um. It's given very, just very, just very monotone. That's all. <laughs> like I said, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, I'm not used to, you know, Louisiana people being so like monotone. <clears throat> like Louisiana to me are like New Yorkers. Like we're very much giving loud. I'm not saying loud, but now I'm not saying that we're hundred percent like on a thousand all the time but I'm just like you know we're definitely above a six <laughs> like so it kind of like threw me a little bit but like I said it's it's really nice in there the, the customer service is definitely fire it's just very calm like very calm and they have Louisiana music playing they still got their Mardi Gras stuff up so it, it's, it's it's definitely giving calm <laughs> like I said there's nothing wrong with that it's just very calm in there and for the music to be what's playing, they're kind of still in Mardi Gras in there. So it's like, I was expecting a lot more. But I mean, it, like I said, it's a very nice place. It's given what it's supposed to give. You know, the food was good. Custom service was good. And I want to say it's black owned because it was a lot, of, um, a lot of black people in there. And you can tell that this is a place that um, a lot of people in the neighborhood are the ones that come here. Like, you know, like people come in, they get their food and then they out of here. The people who don't, who don't live around here. But what I will say is this place carries breakfast all day. Like their whole entire menu, you can get all day. So that's a good thing. They have their beignets, like three, six, and I think 12 um, beignets at a time. Um, I got a coffee and three beignets. And I want to say, I think I paid like $11, something like that. So that's really not bad, you know. Normally a coffee is about ten dollars, so it's really not bad. It's, it, it's really not that bad. It's kind of like coffee was like five dollars, and then the beignets were probably like four dollars or something, or like five dollars for three or something like that. So it really wasn't that bad. 
so like I said I can definitely give it a 10 out of 10 it's just very monotone and the the decorations in there are very low-key like very minimal it, like it still gives Louisiana but it's definitely given very monotone